Team CV, Victor here with Celebrated Victories, giving you guys another video. And in this video, what I'm going to talk about is going to be ATM business contract mistakes with business owners, things that you want to have in your contracts, why it's important to have contracts with these business owners. One thing I do want to mention is I am not an attorney, so take this information with a grain of salt. Consult with your attorney for better information, for more information, um, to look over contracts, to make contracts, and things like that. But I'm just going to give you my insight based on my experience, you know, things that I've been through. Before I begin, though, I want you guys to say what up to Jesse. Come here, buddy. Come here. Say hi. Oh, crazy boy. Nah, say what's up to the camera. Look, look. look. Y'all see him? Say what's up. All right. Go lay down. Get off my neck. Come on, neck, Jesse. Okay, that's it. Good boy. All right, now that we got that out the way, I do want to say if you enjoy getting free ATM business tips and advice and you're new to the channel, be sure to check this video out, another one. And then if you're finding value in the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell too. That way you get notified every single time I drop a new video. Now let's dive right into it. The first why that I'm going to talk about is going to be to protect your property. All right, imagine putting your ATM into a business and you have no documentation showing that it's yours, you have no doc documentation um, explaining why it's there or anything like that. It's almost like taking something that's very valuable of yours and putting it into someone random um, house and you know just expecting to go get it whenever you feel like it. All right, that's a huge no-go. You definitely don't wanna do that. That's gonna be the first reason why you definitely wanna have an ATM business contract on board to protect your property, to show that it's yours and things like that. That's gonna be the first reason. Reason number two is gonna to be to secure your location. All right, imagine you walking up to an actual business. You say, hey, I wanna put my ATM in their location. You do it and then that location turns out to make $1,000 a month. All right, you don't have any paperwork to back you up. You don't have any proof or anything like that saying that you guys agreed upon it. Now you just know this ATM is making you $1,000 a month. The owner finds out they're getting paid, you know, 25 cents a transaction, 50 cents a transaction. They time that or divide that total amount that they're getting into 0.25. They see that they're getting, you know, that there's like, um, I don't know, what, 500 transactions going on each month, right? Then they're gonna, that's gonna be a red flag to them. They're gonna be like, hold on, this dude's making a lot of money. Now let me just get my own ATM and put it in my own location. Or they could have somebody else come up to them, like, hey man, how much is this dude paying you for the ATM to be in here? They say 25 cents. Hey man, I'll give you a dollar. Now they're trying to get your ATM out to put theirs in. To put theirs in. The business owner agrees and you have no documentation, no paperwork to secure that location. Now you're getting kicked out. All right, those things happen, they can happen, so you definitely wanna have paperwork to just hold you down, to secure that spot, making sure nobody else jumps behind it. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that later in this video too. Reason number three, this is gonna be to protect you just in case you have to go to court, just in case you're getting into a lawsuit, um, just in case they do something that they shouldn't have that kind of breaks the contract or breaks the agreement, you have documentation to protect you and um, you know help you out on your behalf. Now that we talked about the whys and the reasons that it's a huge mistake to not have an ATM business contract, I'm gonna dive into some things that you wanna have inside your contract. One mistake that people make with their contracts is they don't have anything inside the contract saying that the ATM is actually theirs, okay? For me, I even put the serial number on there to show, hey, this ATM, this specific one and this location is mine is property of mine and it's nobody else's definitely want to have that in your contract another thing that's a mistake of not having in your contract is going to be an exit strategy in your contract you want to talk about something um, along the lines that's going to get you out of the contract or get that ATM out of that location for whatever reason whether it's you know performing bad whether it's vandalism um, or just anything that you can think of where your ATM could possibly need to be moved you want to have something in that contract saying hey I'm gonna move it at any time whenever I need to for whatever reason all right definitely something big you want to have the next thing that you want to have in your contract is obviously the agreed upon profits that you guys are going to be sharing. All right, whatever you guys agree upon that you're going to be giving up per transaction or, or percentage, however you're going to do it. If you're going to change the profits as the number of transaction rises, all that information you definitely want to have into your contract. That way there's no miscommunication, there's no misunderstanding. Another thing that you definitely want to have in there is something saying that they're the actual business owner of that location. 
All right, the last thing you want to do is be putting your ATM into a location and you're just talking to an employee and they're agreeing, doing all that stuff and they're not even the actual business owner. They don't even have the authority to make those decisions. All right, you definitely want to have that. You should be getting the EIN number anyways, so you should be kind of pairing you know, the name and even looking at an ID if possible, um, just to make sure, because like I mentioned, you definitely don't want to be having it in there and it shouldn't even be in there. Another thing that you want to have in your ATM business contract is going to be something noting that you're going to be bolting the ATM down. All right, you want to make sure that they agree upon it and you want to make sure that you have something in writing saying that agree upon it, okay? Because the last thing you want is to get into a tussle, to bump heads, and then you're pulling your ATM for whatever reason. Um, and then they're saying, hey, you left these holes in my floor. You know, I didn't want them here, blah, 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 blah. And now you're dealing with a different headache. All right, so definitely get that into your contracts as well. All right, you guys, so I want to break off from our scheduled program to give a big shout to Kyle. I mean, Kyle won $142.06 from the giveaway that I did for my first YouTube paycheck. Thank you for participating, and who knows, we might do this again. Shouts to you, my man, and congrats, Kyle. All right, you guys, so another thing that you definitely want to have in there is going to be the amount of time that the contract is. This could be yearly, this could be, um, you know, every three years, every two years, however you decide to do it, you definitely want to have something on, on there like that because what that's going to do, that's going to protect you from having other people come in, slide behind you and try to get their ATM in there or offer the actual business owner a higher surcharge. So if you have that, if you're doing like a yearly contract, the owner can't do anything. He can't say, well, you yeah, let's take his out and put yours in because he's on a yearly contract. Another thing you want to add in there is little stipulations such as like, um, you know, it ne they need to cancel within um, or before 90 days of the date that the, con the contract ends. You know what I mean? So if the contract ends on, you know, December, the last day of December of 2020, they need to give you a heads up of like, well, October, November, December, before October in written format saying, hey, we don't want to continue for the following year having the ATM um, in here. I hope that makes sense, um, but you definitely want to have that in there to protect you. Another thing that you guys might run into is that business owner wanting to get their own ATM and kind of take yours out, okay? Even after the contract expires, let's say they give, they're planning on give you that written notice. A few things that you guys can do, a few things that you guys can talk about to the business owner is just explain to him the hassle of actually having a business, um, ATM business, all right? To talk about the pain points of, you know, getting an ATM business account um, from a bank, right? Talk about, you know, the hassle of programming it talk about the hassle of you know maintenancing it if you have any internet connections and how to troubleshoot them because they don't know any of this stuff all right they're just thinking about the money they're just thinking about that process but if you paint those pictures and kind of reiterate to them like hey man you're getting paid every single month without doing anything and you're getting some decent money that's definitely going to be helping you out you can continue that route or they can get their own and kind of get into that those hassles and have to learn everything because there's a lot to learn on their own so those are some things you can iterate reiterate to them if they're thinking about getting their own atm and taking yours out i right, definitely wanted to share that with you guys because you may run into that down the road in conclusion you guys just make sure you get something all right doesn't need to be anything crazy i'd rather you have something than nothing okay if you go on to google you type in atm business contract templates you know get one of those look into it change some things up if you feel you need to, you need to change some things up if you can get it looked at by a lawyer that would be great all right, that's the best route to go. But again, I'd rather you have something than not have anything. All right, um, it's gonna be a huge psychological deterrent just for the simple fact that you got something. Um, a good thing that I'll, I'll kind of tell you about it is very similar in my dog training company. Um, when you hire employees, and this is really for any company to be honest, um, a lot of people do this stuff is they get a they have a the new employee sign a non compete, and pretty much a non compete is kind of like a contract where they can't compete with you and leave the business and go start their own um, company in the same industry. You know, a lot of those non-competes, they don't even really matter. If they were actually like to go to court, a lot of them won't really um, even hold up. But the simple fact that you still have it is a psychological deterrent to the employee to not go that route and try to, you know, start their own business. So that could be, you know, powerful to a lot of people. So either way, just make sure you guys are getting something done. I'd rather have something than nothing. Now that you understand what mistakes that you don't want to make when it comes to your ATM business contracts and you understand why you should have one, you understand some things that need to be in there, be sure to check out my next video. And my next video hasn't come out yet again, um, but in my next video, what I'm going to talk about is going to be rejection and taking you guys with me as I go into you know actual business owners and I'm getting rejected by some of them. 
okay i want to share that with you guys be sure to check that video out when it does drop so hit that notification bell that way you get instant access to that when i drop it if you found this video helpful be sure to hit the like button also let me know in the comments below how it's helping you thank you for watching this video be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already and you've been checking out some of my content again if you're new to the channel check this video out check out another one and if you're finding that value then subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell too that way you get notified every single time i drop a new video and i'm gonna leave it there stay up stay blessed and much love hit you guys with another one hold up hold up hold up real quick before you guys go if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so by hitting this button right here and if you want to check out some more of my content be sure to click right here talk to y'all later